There, Siege Leader finally applied, okay. We'll come back to that final holding next time. I don't want to wait. want to go smash this army while it's up here. Fishing village is complete. Okay, next one. 234 days. It's just more population growth. It's still faster than the other one, so let's upgrade the fishing village. Again, we should see population growth has that bonus 1%. Monthly population growth percentage, 1%. Modifiers, parable, 0%. So it's not actually 1%, it's like 1%. Is it like 1.01 .01 instead of just 1? That's so tiny! How am I not going feudal hungry? Is that what we're supposed to do? I was unaware. I mean, the year is 869. Is it, is it better? Is it better, do you guys think, to go, uh, to finish this war and then, like, become a feudal guy? Is that what happens automatically when we win this war? I haven't done this war in a long time. We take all occupied territory, we take and vassalize all titles. No, I think I want to stay as a horse guy. I mean, it's just, it's different, you know, it's kind of interesting. In a, like, I don't understand what the hell's going on kind of way. These are part of a Tengri uprising, not even involved in our war, but they're going to mess up my ability to... to take everything if we don't fight it. We can have daughters. No, destroying everything is much better. No, this is not Holy Fury. I wish it were, but no, this is just, uh... I'm just just playing CK2. That's all I'm doing, man. I'm just, just playing some CK2. Once we've sieged something, it's very easy to... Okay, uh, there's a sudden army there. All right, you're arriving on the 2nd of December. This is again part of a Tangri uprising, but it's just going to cause problems and siege back the land that I need, so I'm going to kill it anyway right now. Assuming that they allow me to catch up to them. That is the Bulgarian army. Might as well let them take that city back, though. If he takes the city back, then I can... Uh, just siege it again, get more money. Any new prisoners? Indeed there is. What do you think about Holy Fury? I don't know. Holy Fury has not yet. How could I know what to think about it? Holy Fury looks cool. I saw the, uh, the, what do you call it? The, uh, pre like, preview thing for it, and it looked pretty neat. Manpower growth plus 10%. Improve clan sentiment. That seems reasonable. Um, we do want to steal technology if possible. New fishing village is complete. The next tech requires town infrastructure at level 1.
Terrible is now somehow providing plus one percent. So I mean, clearly population growth is going to be important. I think. Next up, let's build the uh, cattle pens. I want a weapon, but I have to keep spending money on even that that holding being upgraded. I just have to, right? A daughter was born. Neat. She'll take the struggle focus too, because it's what we do in our dynasty. Cool. More technology points is nice. We can actually take some tech. Okay. Well, I'm assuming our capital is going to stay here. So... Seems to me like majesty, prestige growth is going to be one of the things that matters the most to us. Yeah, this is just vanilla. This is, um, it's interesting, it's neat. I've forgotten, I've forgotten, like, I, I say often, like, I've forgotten more about CK2 than other players, like, some people have learned. And it's true, because I have played the game for so many years now that uh, they keep adding new features, and I forget that they were even added, and I just don't remember them. Are you going to keep your capital there? Well, I don't really know. I mean, that's one of the things I'm not sure of. Horse lords are different than regular people, so I'm wondering if when we move our capital as a horse dude, if that allows us to keep our technology, or if it's just going to still be based on the province tech. Logically, it should work on province tech, because that's how everyone else works, but maybe because we're a horde, it's slightly different. But, um, I mean, our tech up here is pretty trash. So maybe I should just hoard my technology points until this war is over and we can move our capital to one of these things where there's a lot of tech. Let's just go with that. Got our siege guy here. We got, uh... 1.7 multiplier on that. Still want to keep checking. Nice, there's another bribable siege leader. And of course we're going to make him into a... a guy. Sorry about this random guy that I brought earlier. I need this one. And I need him to be here. Okay, so we should have a siege leader at both locations now, which is going to help out tremendously. Nice to see our our enemy just fighting themselves, fighting rebels. Ten gold, five random tech. Burn down the stables. That is such a huge loss of stuff. To, to just burn it to the ground like that. They spend hundreds of gold to build it, and we, we gain ten to destroy it. You don't have to establish Hungary? Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm going to stay as a horse. That would be another Tangri Uprising. Interesting. Well, we're just going to murder it. Because we have a lot of horses. Khan, somebody approaches you. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument. Something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. I would require some gold and your patience. The work would take a year to complete. Uh, for 6.6 .6 gold? Sure. Build me a monument. What are you going to build with 6 gold? That's the question, though. My wife, B. Preggers. I feel like he's hunting this army right now. It is the weaker of my two armies.
I'm going to assume it's true and we're just going to leave and then come back down. Rejoin with the other army. Unless he might just be trying to take back that most recently siege province. But I want the armies to get to get back together again anyway. Cattle pens has been completed. Next building. Can we also build hospitals? We could, in theory. Maybe... I, okay, when I move... Shit. When I move my capital, am I going to lose all my buildings too? I don't know. Why aren't you ending the war? Because we want money. Because we're a horde. Whoa, population growth plus 3%. Okay, yeah, we need a shrine. Buildings stay where they are. Okay, but if I move my capital, I only have one capital. So I am going to Are you saying I'm, I'm going to lose all the buildings? Or not? You don't. Good. Okay, thank God, because I've been sinking a lot of cash into this. We also, now that we just started that building and we actually have about 500 ducats, I think I want to go look for a smith so that we can get a fancy pants weapon. Let's, um, let's like ransom one more person or finish one more siege. And now we can search for a smith. Okay, so what do we want to build first? A weapon, armor, or the one that gives like opinion and stuff? I want combat ability probably, so let's go for a big ass weapon. Big ass weapon. It's gonna be a good weapon. I can tell. I don't like this siege tech difference. It's costing us a lot of siege speed. And we are sleeping with the pregger, the, the women while we're on the warpath, because, you know, reasons. It's a big-ass weapon. A weapon... <laughs> exactly, Tokmar. It's a weapon of ass destruction. Not mass destruction, ass destruction. Clever. A marshal has told me about a remarkable weaponsmith residing in Torquay. A fine idea. Bring him. Once Marshal Tohotohom, to 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 Tohotom, had assured that... Okay, whatever. It's weaponsmith. Swords give more monthly martial, and they give personal combat skill and multi prestige. A lance will give a bonus to mounted troops, which is amazing. I think we need a lance because we're a freaking horse lord. Let's get a big, huge lance made out of ass killing gold or something. A lance, I see. <laughs> An excellent choice, Mike Ogden, says Master Boritz. Paul's forward a specialist cradling several lances in his arms. I have a couple of examples here. One must determine what one need and how much one is willing to spend. Okay, hey, the costs are different for us. I will not go into battle with anything but the very best. I want the 400 gold lance, please. Just got here, what's the game plan? Just play Crusader Kings 2 and try to keep distracted from real life. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. We're getting a lot of text spread right now. I'm thinking it's because I got my, my guy doing... Uh, Study technology, and we have such awful technology in our capital. I mean, collecting extra tribute seems really unlikely. I think I will just, like, research economy tech, and, uh... I don't care about monthly piety. I don't care about trying to convert things. Eh, sure, whatever. Just research cultural tech. Organizing the army is giving us a slight reduction to horde maintenance. And we are spending some cash to maintain this, but... I don't think it's significant enough to, to justify keeping him on that task. Train warriors. Manpower growth plus 9%. Now, I'm assuming, though, that the manpower does come from our population. So it's not like we're going to just gain... Um, like, we're going we're gonna to get more manpower, sure, but we're going to lose money. Remember, have you upset your wife? Uh, check a Reddit. Check on Reddit if you if you want to talk about it, or check the last stream. I think it was the last stream. I, I talked about it a bit then. I don't really want to go into it too much right now, but... Um, we've decided that we're going to get divorced, and uh, I don't like the decision, but it is what it is, and... Good news, my Coggin! Boris says said excitedly, the weaponsmith had informed me that precious metals and special tools have been located in a nearby province. If we send an expedition, it could increase the quality of the lance we are currently crafting. 
Oh man, uh, I already paid four hundred, dude. I I don't I didn't I don't have an extra three hundred on hand right now. You're gonna make me go bankrupt? He's gonna like make me go in debt. Of course, our income doesn't come from taxes, so I guess it doesn't really matter if we get like a thieves guild. Whatever. I need the best, prettiest lance in the world. Okay, give me the best lance. I don't care about anything else. I just want it to be pretty. Your horde swarms the holding. Maybe we do take the random 10 gold here. Yeah. Lose stables. Sure. You can be furious. That's fine. That was this guy that's furious, right? Not my subject? Yes. He doesn't like it when I burn down his stables. Shocking. I was struck with nervous excitement when Master Boritz announced that the lance was nearing its completion. Today, I have received the Master in my throne room. A sturdy box is in his arms, and he open, as he opens the lid, I find it almost impossible to breathe. What will you name her, my Kagan? This lance shall be known as Ascalon. My every foe shall fear bleeding lance, or death strike is a fitting name. <laughs> Alright guys, what do you want to... I'll let you guys vote on this. Because this is clearly going to be a good weapon, I can, I can already tell. But I, I, I have a feeling that Tokmor is going to make a push for a specific one of these three. One second. Well, just one sec, guys. I'm putting together a, a straw poll. So that you don't have to flood chat. I mean, you can flood chat if you want, but take the poll. Alright, there's the poll. One sec, one sec. What's the goal of this campaign? We're gonna we're gonna stay as a nomad just to see what happens if we stay as a nomad. I don't know. We have 54%, 52% in favor of Ascalon, 37% want Death Strike. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Ascalon because you guys voted for it, but also because it makes me think of uh, remember how we wanted like a, a big ass lance so that we could like, you know, kick people's ass. Tokmar, what was it that you said? It was something you said that was kind of funny. And I can't remember what it was. Where are you? A weapon of ass destruction. That's why it's called Ascalon. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Get it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a dork. Uh, what is it? Let's check it out. Ascalon is a quality four lance. Mounted troops plus 20%. One monthly prestige. Seven. Holy shit. <laughs> Said to be the recrafted legendary spear of St. George, Ascalon gives seven personal combat skill. Marshall plus two. <laughs> so good. Our personal combat skill is eight. <laughs> like we can murder anyone. Holy shit. We just like get on our horse and just run him through with the ass. <laughs> Also, uh, we provide a bonus to mounted troops of 43% because of that, and all of our troops are mounted. So all of the entirety of our army just got 43% stronger as long as it is to a combined army. Because of a lance. One lance. Jesus. Yeah, we can't duel yet, but I, I do want to duel everyone. Definitely. Uh, in order to switch over from hunting focus to war focus, we need to wait until 72. So next year, we could switch over to dual focus and then, like, I don't know, duel all of the other tribal leaders? It's basically a magic lance? Yeah, I mean, it is. Clearly. Child of a concubine. We are still 66 ducats in debt. No prisoners. The monument, Khan Thurzo... Promise is finished. The statue is unveiled, and it's just a bigger version of Khan Thurzo. Only slightly better looking than the real one. I don't know about this. Very disappointed, and Khan Thurzo gains 200 prestige, or I can become rivals with him. <laughs> well, he likes me right now. I don't really care. It was six gold. He can, he can be happy with his silly thing. 